Captain's log. Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Guybrush! Uh... Fun. <laughs> I don't think so. Just you again. Just your most terrifying image of evil revisited. Yeah, right. I bring you warning from the infernal realms. Do not go farther into the swamp. Turn back. Turn back. Darkness will envelop you. <laughs> How'd you get all the way up there? Through sheer force of will. Uh huh. All right, there was a bunch of those weird voodoo kids. Found me on shore and put me on top of this bike all the time, thinking they were so funny. Do you need me to help you down? Help! I need no help from you foolish mortals! I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull! Okay, just thought I'd ask. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the offer. What are you doing up there? I am standing as a testament. Standing? Hanging as a testament to the power of the forces of evil that will one day claim victory over the entire Earth! How long are you going to keep doing that? As long as it takes! Must get pretty dull up there, I suppose. Never! The powers of darkness are never dull! We will one day prove that... Oh, who am I trying to fool? I'm bored out of my skull. Figuratively speaking, of course. You seem restless. Oh, I don't know. It's just that not many people come through this swamp. What would you rather be doing? I need to be out among the lesser people, terrifying them and causing pain and misery. That would make you happy? Yes, happy in a dark demonic way. Do you know anything about lifting curses? Oh, right. I know a lot about lifting curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull, sitting on top of a spike in the middle of a swamp. You seem bitter. I'm sorry it's been a rough day. I'd love to stay and chat, but uh, I gotta go. What a relief! I don't want those dull little scissors. Wow, I got a whole pack of gum.
Who are you and how did you just appear like that? I am one gifted with a second sight, adept at manipulating the forces of nature for the benefit of all who enter my door. You're a fashion consultant. Well, yes, but that's not what I was referring to. I am a voodoo priestess. Neat. You're an autumn, by the way. Don't I know you from somewhere? We have known each other for a very long time, Guybrush Threepwood. You've been through much, so it is understandable that you have forgotten me. We met on Melee Island when you were first trying to become a pirate. Hang on a second. Are we gonna do one of those flashback things? They always make me nauseous. No, I'll make this quick. I twice helped you defeat the evil pirate LeChuck, first by preparing the voodoo antiroot. I'm starting to remember. And then again by helping you prepare a voodoo doll of his zombie form. That's right. You've helped so much and I still don't know your name. I am known by many names on many different islands. But names have little importance. You should know this more than anyone, Guybrush Threepwood. Yes, you're right. Hey, are you making fun of me? I wouldn't dream of it. Boy, have I got some stories to tell you. Stories? Yes, well, I'm sensing a great disturbance. I have to go. But I've got to tell you about LeChuck and Elaine. I'm going to disappear now in a big flash of light. Cover your eyes. No, 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 wait. It started back on Dinky Island. I knew LeChuck was close. I'll be disappearing here any moment. Okay, okay, no stories. Nice place. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. You'll have to excuse the mess. The kids came over to play with their paper voodoo dolls. They're adorable children. Would you like to see some pictures? Perhaps later. Yes, there's no time for that now. I sense that something terrible has happened. Hey, you're good. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so ter- And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. No, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? I can't tell you. It's too secret. Very well. But I am very much relieved to hear that she is safe and... Uh, I just remembered something I've got to do. Uh, see you around. You didn't hide her. Go, Guybrush, hurry before you're too late. Elaine! I've got to get her back. This is so embarrassing. Looks like I'm gonna need some more help. Someone's stolen Elaine. That is unfortunate. It will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in Danger Cove. Can you give me something to lift the curse? No. LeChuck's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing here to lift so powerful a curse, but there is one way. Great! Tell me! You have to replace the cursed ring with a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months' salary. Where am I gonna find a huge uncursed diamond ring? Legends speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. Blood Island? I've never heard of it. You will soon become quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. 
I have also seen that Blood Island will be the place where you will die. Die? D did you say die? As in me, dead. Don't be such a baby. Isn't there a less dangerous way? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. It represents a pure, true love, a power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I, I think I have something in my eye. Do not mock the voodoo priestess. How do I get to Blood Island? You will need three things. A map to Blood Island, for the journey is a long and dangerous one. A seaworthy ship to take you there. And an experienced crew. Map, ship, and crew. Got it. Well, how will I find the ring on Blood Island? All I can say is that I see a long and painful history connected with that ring. And I feel a great sadness associated with it. You will learn more once you have actually found the island. Blood Island, here I come! I finally defeated LeChuck and his skeleton pirates. True evil can never be destroyed completely. But I heard him blow up and everything. You'd be surprised at how much abuse an evil undead zombie pirate can take. Well, how can I finally destroy him for good? No one knows. His power seems to grow with every incarnation. You may have dealt with him for now but this respite can only be temporary at best. When I finally found Big Whoop and was enormously disappointed. Big Whoop is pure evil. You were lucky to escape alive. I can't remember much about it. Just that I was expecting so much more and felt so let down. Yes, it is the source of much of LeChuck's power. I'm never going back there again. I have foreseen otherwise. You will return to Big Whoop and confront LeChuck once again. What makes you think LeChuck will be back? Some men can search their entire lives and never discover their reason for being. LeChuck has found his. To perpetually rise from the dead and torment you and Elaine. It's what he does best. Gee, when you put it that way, it's kind of hard to stay mad at him. What island is this, anyway? You have landed on Plunder Island. Plunder Island. Sounds appropriately piratey. Naturally. It's a sort of retirement community for ex-pirates and their spouses. Hmm, sounds exciting. Lately, there has been all too much excitement on the island. All centering around Governor Marley, the Chuck, and a giant chicken. Elaine is governor of this island too? Actually, Elaine is the governor of the entire Tri-Island area, comprised of Mele, Booty, and Plunder Islands. She moved to her fort here on Plunder after the kitchen and landscaping staff quit her Booty Island mansion. Well, how did you end up on Plunder Island? I realized that my location in the swamp on Scab Island wasn't ideally situated. So you moved to a swamp on a different island? I just said I could see the future. I never claimed to be an expert in real estate. What about this giant chicken business? Ah yes, Skybrush. You have landed on an island gripped by the cold, clammy hand of fear. Don't you think you're being a bit overdramatic? This was a peaceful island, until the great beast landed on our shores. Some say it was sent to make the islanders pay for their cruelty. Others claim it was simply blind fate. Whatever the impetus, it came. Is this gonna be scary? Because I warn you, I've got a notoriously weak bladder. Steady yourself, Guybrush. 
It was El Pollo Diablo, the giant demon chicken. Tall as a man and twice as powerful, his massive drumsticks propel him through the dark jungle with ease. No one has seen the beast, but on the eve of the full moon, his blood-curdling squawk can be heard from every corner of this wretched island. In the dark of night, he roosts patiently, watching, waiting for the one day. No, 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 wait, don't tell me. Let me guess. He's going to muck, muck, muck the system. He roams the island exacting terrible vengeance on those who would capture and eat his smaller brethren. Oh, give me a break. There were once others like you, skeptical to the true nature of the beast. But they're all dead now, pecked into a bloody pulp by his savage beak. But I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, right, whatever. Thanks, I've heard all I needed to know. I want to know what voodoo spell you're working on. Voodoo spell? Oh, this. This is just a fondue I'm making for tonight. Would you like to try it? Does it have any skink toes in it? A few. I'll pass. I want to know more about safe hair replacement systems. I can imagine. Didn't you have a beard the last time I saw you? I sure did. A really cool one. I wonder what happened to it. I want to know more about a diet I can live with. I'll share with you knowledge passed from mother to daughter in my family for generations. What's that? Low fat, high fiber. It works. Thanks for your help. Gotta go. Hello there, Sonny. You open yet? Oh boy, oh boy! My first customer. Gee Wilkers, is this gonna be swell? Hi, my name's Kenny. Kenny Foulmouth. It sure would be neat if you would buy some of my lemonade. It only costs a nickel. And best of all, I have a bottomless mug policy. That does sound like a good deal. Is the lemonade good? Oh gosh, yes. It's a very helpful drink. Even better for you than placing leeches on your tongue. Wow. What's the lemonade good for? It's a dandy tonic for scurvy. It'll cure all your symptoms, including, but not limited to, gradual weakening, aching muscles, sunken eyes, painful gums, ashen skin, loss of teeth, internal bleeding, the reopening of old wounds, diarrhea, kidney failure, fainting, halitosis, and death. Will it cure evil pirate curses? No, but it has a refreshing citrus flavor with no unpleasant aftertaste. I'd like to buy some lemonade. Sure, we have a bottomless mug policy, you know. That'll be a nickel. Hey, there's no bottom to this mug. Give me my money back. I'm sorry. I did tell you about our bottomless mug policy, and there are no refunds. Why, you little. Thank you. Come again. The Surgeon General of Plunder Island has determined that ingredients in this product may be harmful or fatal if swallowed. Ahoy! I'm a dangerous pirate. Who are you? Cromwell. Slappy Cromwell. It's not my real name, actually. My agent told me my given name just didn't have star quality. What was your given name? Rex Fortune, Adventure Seeker. 
Oh, there's a monkey in my pocket and he's stealing all my change. There is blinking glassy, I suspect that he's deranged. Oh, my dear sweet merciful savior in heaven.